So as we all know, the ultimatum has recently returned in Pixel Gun 3D. And adding more detail into this, it has returned in the lottery, in the super chest, meaning that it will be a lot harder to get the ultimatum. So today guys, I decided to ask one of the top clan leaders of Pixel Gun 3D to help me out and give me the best tips which I could list right in today's video on the best ways to grind yourself as many keys as you can, to get yourself as many winner chests and super chests as you can, to maximize yourself the chance to get the ultimatum before it leaves the lottery. Anyway, let's just jump straight into today's video. Just before we begin, I really want to thank the developers for helping me out so, so much and to show, share some love with them and uh, with me, of course. Feel free to use my personal pan link, which is on the screen right now, also in the description, and smash a like on this video. Anyway, now for real, let's get straight into the video. So starting up with the first and actually the most simple method. Oh boy, this is the method that we all hate, but it's actually reliably doing well. The do scamming is the best way. And I'm not encouraging anyone to actually do scam right now. I encourage you guys to actually legitimately fight for a chest instead of do scamming and just fight the opponents off. That, at the end of the day, that's the point of the game. That's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to fight people, bet chests with them. And then if you win, then you win. You get your gems, they lose their gems. That's what betting is all about. And I really suggest you guys, um, I don't suggest you guys to of course start do scamming because that's just stupid but I suggest you guys to try out playing a lot of do's the do's also are only two minutes long and it's four keys to five keys I believe per game which is actually pretty good meaning that just in 10 minutes of playing do's you guys are able to maximize yourself an amount from 20 to about 30 keys which is a good amount per 10 minutes meaning you can actually nearly get yourself a winner chest in over an hour but it's not so reliable to actually grind them out and actually betting the chest is a more reliable method anyway guys here's a loader that i would like to share with you guys that's a typical dual loadout that people use normally you're supposed to use like a shotgun as your primary you're supposed to use a good damage backup whatever you would like to get yourself i suggest you guys something like the thunder if you freak out spam as a melee, you guys could ever have the double cashbacks to make you fast. You can have the heroic epi as well to heal you from damage, of course. Get yourself either the vertical grip device or a different uh, weapon that's actually going to pull you towards targets. And of course, a sniper that will one-shot you. And of course, heavy, it's obviously going to be the Christmas ultimatum, which is worth 1,000 coupons at this current point of time. And this weapon did have a buff, so it's actually really amazing, and you guys will see throughout more of the gameplay in today's video. Anyway, moving to our next method on this list. So the other methods which I have for you guys are more going to be grind-wise, of course, and grinding isn't the most fun thing, but if you really want to get the ultimatum, that's what you gotta do. And this... What I have to say right now is that overall, to get open yourself a super chest, you need to spend 1,300 keys just for one super chest, and you guys don't even have the best chances to get the ultimatum. Of course, there is a chance, which is amazing, and I really hope that you guys will get yourself the ultimatum first try after 1,000 for 300 keys, but I highly doubt that's going to happen. So you guys better start grinding more, you know? Anyway, more into the grinding methods, which I have. Well, Team Strike and point capture. Let's start with Team Strike and why Team Strike is such a good mode to grind yourself keys. Well, I say it's actually very much simple. All you gotta, guys gotta do is win four rounds in Team Strike and that's it. All, all that is, you just get the win straight away. So you guys need to get kind of a speed running weapons in which you can defeat your opponents fast. So I definitely suggest a pulling towards target weapon once again. I know that this meta is pulling towards target weapons, but we can't do anything against it. So we may as well fight fire with fire, isn't it? Well, I don't fully recommend it, but I say that pulling grip device is definitely going to be the number one weapon which you guys should use to, of course, be able to speed run uh, the whole map. I suggest weapons with cluster bomb, such as the heavy Christmas ultimatum, and if you guys have a good shotgun, then also use a shotgun. A strategy which I like to use is first shoot on the ground with the Christmas ultimatum, then finish off the opponent with the shotgun. And most of the time, the opponent will be dead by then, and you guys can continue your speed run and gain yourself the four wins. 
in rounds in Team Strike, of course. So, get ourselves into the next mode, which was Point Capture. I actually have a very interesting strategy, which I was given by one of the top clan members. Big credits to Crazy Pixel Gun 3D. He has his current uh, clan, which is top four, which is absolutely insane. And if you guys would like to join his Rage Discord server, feel free. I'll leave the link in the pinned comment and in the description. And yeah, anyway, getting into the Point Capture. And this method is actually quite scammy and quiet. I don't know if I would call it illegal but I would definitely call it a good method so in point capture point capture doesn't seem to be the most uh, practical mode when it comes to people playing which means that there isn't too many people playing and you, what you guys gotta do find yourself the most inactive map you can possibly find out of all of them once you found yourself that map uh, with point captures you need an alt account uh, and you need to invite them to squad in the map with no people as I just said and all you gotta do is get yourself the three points and you can just AFK like this for hours. So after you get yourself an ult I believe there are no bots that are able to join the game because I believe in Team Strike there needs to be uh, one bot on your team and two bots against you if there isn't any player in the lobby of course which means that the lobbies are able to start straight away meaning that you guys need a lot of ult accounts which is kind of annoying but it is is probably the way to go so if you guys fully get get yourself all of the free uh, points in point capture of course i believe it will take you around two minutes uh, to win the game of course correct me in the comment section if i may be wrong i'm not saying that i'm not wrong right here i definitely could call myself wrong but i'm just not sure so please let me know in the comment section down below if i am correct right here Meaning that you guys will be able to get yourself 4 to 5 keys. I'm not sure if it's 5 because I haven't paid that much attention to the exact rewards you get. But it is a very close number. Meaning that it's just the same as dual grinding in point capture. But it's more effective than actually doing duels and fighting people. As in point capture, all you can do is just go AFK. Which is of course a great method. You're not wasting your time. You could be doing other things in your life while you are just AFK, I guess, farming. But I don't suggest you guys to, of course, AFK... Uh, farm if people you can also grind it legitimately but that's gonna be a lot more longer which is a bit annoying but you guys gotta live with it and that's it and of course in point capture you guys are taking less risks of loss because there is one big problem in duels which uh, i've been told once again by crazy pixel gun 3d after you get yourself four to five wins uh, you lose most of the time as your opponents get harder. And if you win six games, you'll match with someone who also won six games. And this is confirmed by Crazy. He is a duel player and he plays a lot of duels, so he is very experienced in this. And what I gotta say right here, right now, again, it's not gonna be worth playing duels. And the reason for that is, once again, as I said, you guys, if you get matched, um, if you lose or win six times, you'll get matched with the person who did exactly the same. Meaning that the chances of you getting more keys and wasting your time will probably increase slash decrease. So you guys, chances are like 50-50 in duels. Therefore, that's why I recommend point capture the most out of all of them. And anyway, guys, there's also one little option which I uh, realized is like a very sneaky option. But in the lottery, you guys can also watch yourself an ad, which is very amazing. Uh, every single day, you can just get yourself a sneaky novice chest. I guess that's very cool if people haven't realized that. And there is a lot of offers in the store from time to time. Let's say 100 gems for 500 keys. So this is the only time I actually recommend you guys to spend your gems getting keys if there was to be such offer in the store. That's for sure. Anyway, guys guys that's all i got for you guys in today's video if you did enjoy this video and if there is any more ways to get keys in your opinion let me know them in the comment section and i might probably pin your comment we'll see if the comment is very helpful and etc and it has more tips that i gave in today's video then i'll happily pin it and that's just gonna help more people out anyway guys i hope that you enjoyed and i hope that all of these information was very quality and good luck on overall getting the ultimatum i will be doing more ultimatum giveaway streams uh, where i'll be doing giveaways of super chess and etc but that might be later on this week so make sure to leave the notification on and don't forget to do that don't forget to like uh, the video and of course make sure to use my personal part link to help me out and the developers and yeah that'll be it i'll see you guys next video have a great rest of your meals and day and peace out, everyone see you guys bye bye <laughs>